Hey guys, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another episode of the Dinosaur Mine. So I've been working on the swimming pool, I want to get it done kinda, and you guys know that I'm very very short on time these days. Uh, lots of things that I need to figure out still. Uh, but it's gotten a little bit better, I, I guess. However, there's still a lot of other stuff on my plate as well. As you might have seen on the channel, I tried and added a lot of old footage that I still had lying around. And I recorded even some new ones with some friends, and I also uh, am playing on time shot again. So the little time that I had, I started dividing it up between my different uh, series again. Which uh, is of course, doesn't mean that I have more time in the dinosaur mine compared to what I had in the last couple of weeks. Anyways, I tried to get a little bit of stuff done. This bird is probably gonna go, because one of you actually sent me an email, and I'm gonna give credit where credit's due here in a second, with the cool new bridge design that I want to try out at least. I want to give it a chance. I mean, if someone um, builds it in their own world, takes the screenshots and sends it to me per email, I at least should give it a shot, right? So I'll probably try it out here in a second. But first I want to talk a little bit about uh, the structure that I started laying out down here. So first of all, last time I thought I had to come out by one block um, to make it symmetrized, but actually... Look at that, I'm coming in. I'm already out here. So what I actually need to do, instead of going out one block, I need to come in one block, which makes the staircase too wide. I don't have a problem with that. I think it will work out quite nicely if it's only too wide. But this throws everything around. Because this is not lined up and I didn't notice at all because this, you see this pillar back there? It should be right here, but it is here now. And I don't think I will change that again, especially now that I already tried to line up the little bit of a pool down here with an interesting shape. So yeah, I'll probably keep that, although it is not perfectly uh, aligned with the pillars on the outside. I don't think it's too noticeable and it's only this little quadrant here and I will line everything else up again. I'll probably have to shorten this again because if I have the wall here, then this pool obviously can't actually it could go outside. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> I could have it go outside and then have a waterfall into this ice lake. That would be kind of neat. I don't know, maybe. This is an idea that I just had when I looked here at this lake. Anyways, I'm gonna have the pathway go around here. Um, this all needs to be spruced up. I'll, I don't know, I might make it a garden. Maybe some, some whirlpools back there. I think some of you suggested that. Then we go up here again, and this is supposed to be the wall of the building. So this, uh, the swimming pool is going to go right until the wall again on this side. And I might build a staircase with a little bit of an overhang um, up here. I'm not entirely sure about that yet. Yeah, but I got some more concrete, a little bit more concrete. I, of course, went branch mining to get more marble. In the first place, I'm almost out already again. Do I have some more here? No, 22 blocks, that's not gonna be close to enough. I'm not even gonna get the, the bottom of the swimming pool done with that. But yeah, lots of resource gathering, still necessary. Um, so yeah, that's the plan right now. It's still uh, in a very, very rough shape, but I thought I would give you guys an update, um, especially considering that I probably have to tear down this wall again and move everything over a little bit. It was Ethan who sent me a design that looked similar to this. So basically a marble-based bridge with some sort of leaf. He didn't use uh, the carpenter's blocks for the leaves and he also used oak leaves I believe. But I tried to keep the shape as concise as possible. So I tried to use the uh, leaves in in the carpenter's box. I also tried glass actually. I didn't like the glass at all. The leaves are not bad I'd say. I mean and he also used just a smooth marble for the stairs. So it's not bad. I'm not quite sure, so I left it on the other side the old way. And even combining the concrete, I mean, I really like these marble pillars. I think they fit in really, really well and give it a nice structure. So I don't mind these at all. Let's actually go ahead 
Uh, do I have some more? I have just a tiny bit more marble going. Let me replace these here, boop, with the marble on both sides. And uh, I guess I'll let you guys decide what you prefer. So I think it's a good idea to get rid of the wood. The wood didn't really fit the theme at all. I'm not sure how I feel about this now. I mean, I still kind of like the concrete, but the leaves, while they are pretty unrealistic, they give it a nice uh, accent color. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think it looks kind of cool when you walk up here and you see the, the water um, shining through the leaves. It's not bad. It's still not safe, but it wasn't in the first place, so I can't fault anyone for that. So this is a suggestion. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, and maybe we can finalize it next episode, finally. <laughs> in the meantime, I have been working a little bit more on this. I ran completely out of gravel. I just got a little bit of concrete back from working on this bridge, so I can uh, finish this off maybe here. So we're gonna go up here for the windows. Oops, we're gonna go up in the corner. Not sure what I'm gonna do here yet. We'll figure that out. So this is the staircase I came up with. I didn't want to have just a normal staircase, so I made it a little bit uh, on a slower slope, like this. And this is our little platform here. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put up here. Hmm. I guess I could put some sort of pool at the end of this. It might be kind of neat. And then, ooh. Ooh, I could fill it with glass. Well, not fill it with glass, but surround it with glass. So we could have like a uh, see-through kind of glass pool, which would be quite deep if I have it go all the way down there. I might not, eh, maybe, it could be cool. Let's see, how high are we? I could also lower this whole uh, platform a little bit to make it more realistic. And then I could have a glass pool in the corner there with a nice view outside the windows. Might that be cool? The problem with that would be that I can't use, um, I cannot use the slab, the, not the slabs, the, ah, oh, what are they called? Come on, Fabe. What are they called? Paints! Glass paints! <laughs> That's what they're called, because then it would look weird with the water inside, and there would be like half a block, vertical half a block of uh, air. So that wouldn't work. I would have to make this, these, this corner here full glass, and I don't think I like that. It would look very weird from the outside. So maybe that idea is not gonna work out for me. Um, maybe I could just put some... Uh, ooh. That might be an idea. Some, like, chairs to lie down even, maybe, up here? Yeah, we don't have any of those anywhere. We definitely should add some of those in different places. Well, we don't have a whole lot of space to work with. But that's definitely something that you find in all the swimming pools. These chairs where people are lying down and leave their towels and their stuff. Let's see, where else? I guess I, this was supposed to be another greenery... Uh, area so we don't have a whole lot of space for these chairs but I could put some up there that's for sure there's some space I can also put some um, in the rooms that are covered yeah I can definitely put some here that might be cool yeah that will add a whole other feeling to this thing oh I'm excited now I didn't even think about that before and it's something that is so natural to a public swimming pool like that so I will definitely do that. I will try and uh, get some more gravel going. Oops, don't fall down there, Fabe. So we can close off this balcony. And of course, we're gonna have, I guess, the bubble glass again that I used back there to have a safety rail all the way to the corner. And we're gonna go up here. And then I'm out of, out of gravel, or out of concrete, or both. Yeah, I think it could be cool. And then we can have some greenery there in the corner can have a little bit of an overhang here and maybe some more greenery down there. I can get rid of the dirt now, that's for sure. So yeah, you guys get the idea, I'm making progress. Uh, I think I'll have to do another branch mining session though, uh, just to get all the marble going for the flooring of this pool here and also to collect some more gravel for the concrete. Little progress update for you guys. I put in the ceiling all the windows uh, except the glass. I ran out again, I gotta dig up some more sand. But that's gonna be fine. There's still a little bit residual tree in our swimming pool right now and it's not completely filled yet. I'm probably gonna do that here in a second. Let me see. Is there anything else I did? Oh yeah, I, 
I think I showed you this already. I haven't um, shown you with all the concrete because I have been grinding more gravel and uh, some more marble as well. Let's fill this up. Let's see what it would look like when it's filled. I should probably get rid of this tree at some point. I don't think people would like to have a, a needle tree in the swimming pool. Imagine all the all the dirt swimming around there. That's not fun. But that's looking good. All right, all filled up. Let's unleash the waterfall. Bam. Should we fill the last row too with water? I think so. Like this? Yeah, that works. All right, nice. So we are almost done with this part down here. Well, a lot of details are still left and the windows uh, and the... In okay, we well, there's still a lot of work to do. <laughs> but let's try out to get some some seats here. All right, let's do it like... Uh, I mean, this, have, this has been done by a lot of people before when they were building like beach builds and stuff. But I think this can turn out quite nicely. It all depends... Um, on the block that we're gonna put into these, of course. But this could be nice, right? Maybe we can even have some sort of a table in between sometimes. Okay, let's, maybe if we have less, hmm. How could we do this? All right, let's get rid of this one. And let's place two more like this. And then there's already the stairs, so we can only put like four up here. And can we have something like a table? Ah, an umbrella would be cool too, wouldn't it? Do I have some barrier still on me? I do. So, if we do this, there is some cool tricks that we could do uh, with umbrellas. Uh, where's my hammer now? Is it gone? Can't, is it gone? It could be gone. Did it just break? Or am I just blind? I might be blind. I can always make a new one, right? I usually carry a little bit of iron on me. All right, this is one more than we need, and I'm not I'm not quite sure why I'm keeping all these fossils on me all the time. And it's getting nighttime. Everything is going according to plan. Don't you worry about it. All right, let's make this maybe three high. And uh, in vanilla in Minecraft, there's this cool trick where you could can put beds around and then one block of wall in the middle, which looks really cool. But I think ooh, that was an accident. <laughs> but I think we can do it better with wall half slabs because we do have this opportunity with the carpenter's blocks. And I think it's gonna look very, very cool if we get an umbrella there and then find the right block, of course, for the seats. I still don't know what kind of block we could use. Let's see what we have. I mean, wood would be an option. I don't want to use marble. No one would want to lie on marble. Usually they are kind of like plasticky, which is also not very nice. I guess wooden is the best we have. I mean, we could try these old planks again, but old planks, no one would want to lie on old planks. What would be nice? Maybe these guys? Smooth spruce wood planks. Is there a skeleton around? I hope not. I wish they were the other direction. And of course, I do not have a hammer right now. Um, these guys, vertical spruce wood planks. Ver vertical uneven spruce wood planks, whatever that means. I don't think uneven is the way to go fancy spruce wood. That might be good. I heard the skeleton. <sighs> no, not quite what I'm looking for. Not a big fan of that. Could try to really, really smooth panels, but I don't think that would be good either. These guys maybe large long spruce wood planks. Let's try out those. No, I don't like them either because they are the wrong direction again. This is tough. This is a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Maybe I should try something completely different. All right, let's try the standard just for comparison's sake. I oriented them the wrong way. That's a problem, you know. If if they were facing this way, for example, they would have the right um, texture direction, but not like this. I am not sure. I am not sure what to do about this. Hmm. Anyways, let me get some wool going, and sleep the night away, and then we might get the umbrella.
Yeah, I like it. I like this color a lot. This is like my favorite uh, colored block in the game, the yellow clay. I really, really love that that hue. Anyways, everything is coming together quite nice. Oh, I need to put a silk touched piece of dirt in there. Can I steal one from here? It's probably gonna fall. Although if I stand on these concrete blocks, I'm saying just a little bit lower. So yep, my chances are a lot higher that I actually pick up the blocks that I mine on the same layer. So let's do that real quick. So this can grow while I do other stuff. I also, let's check it out. Bam, see those up there? Oh yeah, we got two uh, umbrellas up there too. And are they called umbrellas when they protect you from the sun or are they only called umbrellas when, you protect you, when they protect you from the rain? I honestly don't know. Anyways, we got some of these, uh, these seats whatever they are here too and I decided to go with this with these kind of wood texture I don't know it always when I'm working with wood I always come back to this texture I think this is the best texture that uh, the chisel mod adds for the wood although I also really like the crates but they don't really fit in a lot of places unless you build and use storage or something like that but yeah look at that there's still a lot of work to do of course there's still a lot of greenery to do down there there's there's what else is there to do? Oh, the lighting. The lighting is going to be huge too. I did the pool in the center, but that's pretty much the only thing I really did so far. I need to add these glowstone lamps pretty much in all the pools. And I also still want to have this little waterfall going down here. So I'll probably have to get rid of this tree. From the outside, there's still a lot of work to do. Work, work, work. This thing turned out a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But then again, I really, really do love it. I don't know. I'm having so much fun with building this. I hope you guys are not getting bored too much of it, but yeah. I decided, hey, I'm just gonna do what I am enjoy, and I really, really enjoy building this giant structure. I haven't even filled in these with cobblestone, oh man. Unfortunately, this is about all the time I have for today, so we'll have to wrap it up a little bit earlier. Um, not too much progress, but you guys know my current situation. I'm working on it and I think it's coming along. I hope that we can finish it off next episode. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of work in throughout the week in the evenings. Uh, we'll see how that works out. But uh, yeah, I think it's coming along. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what uh, what kind of what we do, what we should do with the bridge, if you have other ideas for the swimming pool. I'm always open for suggestions and I hope to see you all again in the next one. Until then, have a nice day and seriously guys, don't be daft, play some Minecraft. <sighs> Guess it's time for some overtime.